still trying to keep the um, iPad turned sideways. So y'all leave me comments, please. If this is not working, if you don't like it turned this way. Um, but I'm trying to get used to also looking at the camera in a different spot. So I wanted to come on. Um, my hair is pretty much, I think, as straight as far as like the curls being gone out of it as it's going to get. I have been wrapping my hair now for a week and two days and it still as you can see has a lot of curl to it at the end so i think this is just as straight as it's gonna get um but y'all know i came on when i first got my hair done this is the same blowout so what i wanted to do is come on and show y'all that you can maintain a blowout for a good amount of time one thing i do not reapply heat to my hair i y'all know i had that little episode of heat damage a couple years ago and i didn't do anything myself that time um i haven't done anything to damage my hair thank god but um that just scarred me i don't apply heat to my hair at all never have never will i just leave that to the professionals so um this is from three and a half weeks ago i had my hair straightened um on the 20th of december today is january the 14th so i'm going to just share with y'all what i've done to maintain my blowout um it's definitely probably time to wash it because it's you know of course you sweat in your head or whatever i can tell at the roots that it's you know starting to curl up a bit but um for the most part, I mean, the actual hair is still super straight. And you can see it's super, still really shiny. Another thing is I don't apply, uh, apply, I don't apply any product to my hair. The only products that have been applied is what was used in the salon. So my hair doesn't require a lot while it's out like this. Um, now, when it's in its natural state, yeah, I'm constantly moisturizing. But this also goes back to um your how you're taking care of your hair when it's not straightened so if you're neglecting your hair you're not maintaining it and it's not healthy then of course you're not gonna have a you know flawless or low maintenance blowout because your hair is still damaged um so if you properly take care of, care of your hair while it is not in its straight state then you you know you'll You'll be able to see that you can maintain it. So first thing, um, when I first got my hair done, I was rolling my hair at night. And I'm going to show you all the things that I use for my hair. So I use just regular hard plastic rollers. These are my same rolls I used to use when I was relaxed when I would do my roller sets. Um, and I just roll my hair all the way down to the root and then I clip it with... A metal clip I don't like these that much because sometimes they kind of pull on my hair so I'm just really careful when I'm clipping it and really careful when I'm taking it out because you don't want to cause any breakage because these can definitely do it so if you don't really know what you're doing with these I would say be careful or maybe find an alternative to secure your roller or maybe even use a different kind if you're afraid of these or can't get the hang of how to roll your hair with these you can use a pillow roller so this is actually not satin it markets um as a satin pillow roller but it's not satin i can feel it in touch it's not um it's not cotton so it's not gonna dry your hair out either but it's not real satin um so this what you do is you just roll your hair and it has these little bendy parts at the end it's not one on this side i don't know if it's supposed to be but what i do to make sure that it's secure i take and i fold them and then i use my metal clip and i secure it like that well when it's tight it'll stay but um yeah so you just go like that and then clip it and it'll stay once your hair is on there it'll stay but I did a combination of both of these. So normally in the front, I would do the heart rollers. I know you probably think that's probably like, oh, hard to sleep. But it, it didn't bother me at all because it's back there. I don't sleep on the back of my head like that. So I did these in the front. So these would be a looser curl. And then in the back, I did these because these make a really tight spiral curl. And you don't need very many of these. So 
Um, I'll put these in the back and you don't need many. I mean, I let's say I use maybe 10 rollers in my head at night, if that. Um, so that's how I maintain my hair. I did wear my hair curly for, I guess, two weeks. Um, a little over like two and a half weeks. I wore my hair curly and then last Friday I started wrapping my hair. So, oh, another thing while I had my hair in the rollers, I would tie it up with a satin scarf. I'm just trying to get it untied. I would tie this over my head to basically secure the roller so they didn't go anywhere. And then I would put on my bonnet. So... Uh, I would use the satin scarf, put that on, tie it on, and then just secure it with this bonnet, and I was good to go. Um, then when I started wrapping my hair, and I did another thing, I, I did comb through my hair with a wide tooth comb. Don't mind that missing piece. I did that while I was relaxed. Yes, I still have the same comb that I used when I was relaxed as a natural because... I love this comb. It's old. My mom used to use it on my hair. I'm giving y'all the bad story. My mom used to use it on my hair when she did my hair. So, yeah. So, I did like at night I would go through it and then I would roll it up. Now, I use the same comb to wrap my hair. And I um, it takes all of like two minutes. That's why I was like, oh. You know, you kind of miss having your hair straight. But it's nice to be able to go back and forth between curly and straight. But I just wrap it and then I put on my wrap cap. So I have this. It's my good old handy dandy from when I was relaxed. Put this around and then I put my little do-rag type thing on my hair. Um, I don't believe this. This is not silk. None of this is real silk. So I would suggest investing some real silk bonnets and whatever do rat caps, whatever. I'll just be honest. The beauty supply stores that I go to, they don't have anything real silk. Like, nothing. Like, no. So, but my hair does fine with it. Um, But, you know, it's best to use silk. So, um, I will probably keep this as long as I can, to be honest. Because I don't normally... Um, wash my hair when it's in protective stylings every week so this is not protective but at the same time I'm able to maintain it I don't have a lot of dry scalp issues so I'm not having any issues with dandruff or anything like that um, the only thing that I can tell at the roots is getting you know a little curly from probably just sweating in my head and just over time um Let's see, I'm trying to think of anything else. I hate I don't have anybody on live to ask me questions, but I think I've covered everything. Um, I just wanted you all to see that you can definitely maintain a blowout for a good length of time. Um, just to give you a recap, in case you didn't watch my first video, my stylist um, used Rucker Roots um, hair products on my hair the entire line. Um, as far as when she actually flat ironed my hair, she blow dried my hair first. She did use a heat protectant by Rucker Roots. Um, and then she flat ironed my hair. So, um, that's it. Like, only, she did two passes with the flat iron. I'm trying to think. Two passes with the flat iron. So, she got my hair completely straight as straight as she could get it with the blow dryer. And with that method, she um, used the, um, I guess it's like the trace method where she took a, um, a brush of some kind. And it was a trace and like tension method. So there was no direct heat like with a comb attachment or anything on my hair. But she blow dried it and then she flat ironed my hair straight because I was getting a trim. And then she went in and did the curls. So um, I did another uh, one way. I mean, it's too late after you didn't came from the salon. But one way to know if your hair is going to revert, of course, you're going to shed. So what I, you know, waited to see was for a piece of hair to fall out of my head as it should do and run it under some water curl right back up so hi well somebody joined they dropped off but um yeah so just run it under some water and you'll see if your hair is gonna curl back up now if it doesn't don't be all the way scared but maybe a little bit but um yeah just 
you you can see if your hair is gonna curl back up. Don't worry too much. You might need to use some shampoo or whatever when you wash your you know you, when you wash your hair, it might take a little bit for it to come all the way back to its natural state. But one thing I would say, the number one thing in maintaining a blowout is first of all your stylist. If your stylist doesn't do a good job blowing out your hair and using the proper products and the proper technique to do it, it's not going to look good. It's not going to last. And you might have heat damage. So be careful when you're going to people for blowouts as a natural. If you care anything about your curl pattern, I don't let people straighten my hair. Only three people. No. Four people since I've been natural. I've been natural for, I think, five years. Is it five? I think five years I've been natural. Four people have straightened my hair. That's it. I don't do the whole, oh, we're doing a blowout special. Let me go run it. No. I'm going to pay what you charge because I know at the end of the day, you're going to do my hair right. And you you care about my hair, not about getting this $40 that you run a blowout special on. Because, No. I don't that I'm very funny about that I was the same way with getting relaxers I didn't let everybody put a relaxer in my head I'm just the same way about my, my blowout so um if you have any questions definitely leave them down below um but yeah I just wanted to come on and show you all my hair and also as far as the length check my hair is coming down to here so it's like I guess armpit length my armpit is like that there so it's a little further down um, but yeah, you see how it just like bounces back? I don't know. But anyways, thanks so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Bye.